Hey guys, you're watching Carvedo TV. We're back for part four of our playthrough of Deadlight. Really enjoying this game. A little different from the rest of the zombie games I'm used to. Um, it probably will be ending soon enough. I've heard it's quite a short game, so if you've got any suggestions of other games you'd like me to play, uh, leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. At the moment, I'm looking to possibly buy Sniper Elite 4 or 3 and give that a playthrough. So, anyways, back with this episode and I hope you enjoy it, guys. So we got to pick up our gear since this crazy guy took it all from us. I figure it's probably in this little shack of his. Got the first aid kit at least. Uh, I'm not sure we should be here. A little creepy. How long has it been since you looked outside, Mr. Wayne, to make order out of chaos? You just teleported through us. Well, I must tell you, if that's what they do, chaos is winning by a mile. Yeah, cool story. Let's go. Okay, we might need <laughs> that first aid kit after all. Yeah, we made it. it. Looks like we can shoot him. We can shoot that. Down here, life will begin. Below the circles of hell. Below the moving plague of death. In the labyrinth, paradise will be reborn. So I hope I haven't just chopped myself. At least the old man knew how to build himself a place where he would be safe. Yeah, brings it back down, that's cool. I kind of would like my pistol back soon. This ain't gonna do a lot against the zombie horde. to do I want to get across there I can't really see a way across to be honest I think I'm gonna have to use that box, get it on here, on the left. I should have probably thought of this earlier, <laughs> but I didn't, so there you go.
This is like the companion cube because I'm pretty sure we just have to keep dragging it along so it can help us. If you don't know where the companion cube is from, it's from a game called Portal, which is very good, and I might actually do a playthrough on it. Illustration of Nine Circles of Hell from Dante's Divine Comedy. So it was Ratman's inspiration. And now we're back down here. to be on that thing there. Maybe this will uh, take it all the way down. We'll do that. Quickly, quickly. Okay. Uh, companion cube job, in it? Thought we could jump down there, but no. So let's get our little companion cube on here, and this should take it all the way down. If you need my help, you just need to call me. Just so again. I will help you stay on the path through my personal help. Thanks for that, mate. I suppose this is where we part ways. Do I get my equipment back? Here it is. Take a look at the photograph. It won't be difficult to recognize the son of the rat, but be careful with the other man. The living are just as dangerous as the dead. Yeah, they are. You need help, Mr. Wayne? No. Do you? <laughs> These drawings are different from the previous ones. They describe the bombings that affected the city at the beginning of the epidemic. of all of this is pretty crazy. I told you catapults did nothing against zombies. Just bounces off her head. Hmm, they look like traps.
When the epidemic spread to Seattle, the people made a stand, tried to fight. Many died, and then returned to consume the few that didn't. Then the military tried to fight back at the shadows. Look around and see how that ended. Yeah, not very well. This feels like it's about ready to drop. Guy. Idea of another stranger. Um, can we drop down there? See, that's connected to these bags doesn't seem to be a way of getting the bags down ah right there we go <laughs> I guess we couldn't go down there let's try that again Something's blocking the machinery, okay? Let's go and find out what that is. And what about these soldiers? The new law. I told you. When times change, Not that way, then. men must change. We all make choices, Mr. Wayne. In chaos, some choose to show the best sides of themselves. Others, the worst. You must hurry. I worry for the safety of my son. And the ones you care for, too. Okay, so I just spotted something. I'm wondering if it's a secret, if it's part of the game. Find out. Ah, nice. <laughs> we get a second chance to find out what's in that room. So I've had to do a little bit of backtracking, because I've found out that once you go through here, you actually can't get back. And we discovered this secret up here. I want to know what it does, so let's give it a go. <sighs> you don't know how many times it's taken me to do that. Nice, it was definitely worth it. Hey there. Well, that's how we get back, so let's shoot that and be on our way. Is this the part where I die again? <laughs> Thankfully, not. Well, I'm definitely happy that I'm here. It's taken me a lot of attempts to get here. See? See what I mean? Can't get back. Okay, let's move on. Canyon Cube is back. Hmm. This is unusual. I can't 
figure out how I'm gonna get it. Innocent people who tried to look for a safe place during the Great War against the Shadows. They were crushed to death by a landslide caused by bombing. I was crushed to death by hitting my face on the side of a brick wall falling from a hundred feet. Man, that's a big leap. <laughs> Let's do some Assassin's Creed jumping. Yeah, no normal human would make that jump. I can't go on. Follow this path going up, up to the old subway station. When you get to the outside, look for the house that grows in the tree. Find my son before those men do, and I'll help you find the ones you care for. Got it. Will do. I can activate the platform now. I might have to. I'm gonna get across there. I'm glad I didn't drown in that water. Again, I've got to be fast about this. Yeah, I think I know this game by now. Still got to be fast about it. Oh, I want to go back to this. The last entry written in a diary of a survivor, hidden in an underground station. Lost hope in the army. Like the rat said, we all make choices. He chose to build a nest down here in the aftermath of the war. Some might call it survival, others, denial. Mm, great, so I need to get them zombies trapped down here, really. Now get our companion cube here and we can get out of this place without our weapons. So thanks for that. I'm 
house that grows in the tree. Those were the rat's words. Indeed they were. That's what we've got to find then. So we're actually going to end this episode here. So thank you for watching another episode of our Dead Light playthrough. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Cheers guys.